Joyce, what did you learn from your mother's aging, from watching her age, and what lessons are, have you taken from that for your own life? Oh my, there were so many lessons I learned from my mother, Robin. I, uh, you know, I think one of the biggest ones, and probably because I'm kind of my mother's daughter, <laughs> I'm very independent. My mother was extremely independent, and I think part of it was because she had to be when she was, was young. Uh, what I really learned from my mother as she got older is how difficult it is to let go of that independence. When she couldn't clean her home anymore, she couldn't stand at the, in the kitchen to cook and she loved to cook, uh, all of those things. And, and how, how she did that, it was a struggle for a while for her until she really was able to surrender and accept the way life is. And I, I watched her do that and I hope I can do that when I get to be her age which I'm creeping closer to now. Um, but really, I mean, she, and how she surrendered was, she's had some time after a second heart attack, she had some time with my sister and brother-in-law. She was living with them. And uh, she lived there, I think, about six weeks. And during that time, she would go out on their sun porch when they were away at work all day. And she did a lot of thinking. And she told me that one day. She said, you know, I've really been thinking about what will become of me. And when she moved back to her condominium again, she stopped calling herself lazy, which she had been doing because she couldn't do much. And she just became much more peaceful about the whole thing. It was a wonderful thing to see that change in her. And that was maybe a year or so before she died. That that was big. The other, another big thing I learned from my mother about aging is that it's really okay to talk, not only okay, it's important to talk about death. And my mother was not afraid of death. She always said, I'm not afraid of death. And we would have great talks at the breakfast table when I visited. A lesson that I learned from my mother was how important it is to listen to older people when they want to talk about death. And I found it hard at first when my mother would talk about her death, but I knew it was vital to listen to her. One of the difficult times was when I came home to visit and we're sitting at the kitchen table and she said, well, yesterday I went to Greenwood Funeral Home and I picked up my coffin and I chose the prayer card and everything's taken care of so you kids don't have to worry about that. Oh, I could just feel in my stomach, I thought, I don't want you to be talking about your death, you know. And, but I knew I needed to listen to her. And she would from time to time and she never talked about it like, oh, this is a terrible thing, but more like, I. I'm ready and I need to be prepared and so one day I said to her, well mom, you know I travel a lot so when you're ready to go it'll be okay. And she said, okay, she said, as long as I have my wings I'll take off, you know. And that was her motto, you know, fly while you still have wings. So that was a beautiful moment. So I want to just close this by reading um, this section from, it's a chapter called Clipped Wings. And it was about uh, the difficulty of aging and the diminishment that comes from that. Clipped wings. How did it come to this? A forced landing, weakened wings crippled and cropped with age. A solid source of former strength taking you through dark clouds and heavy downpours. Those resilient wings assured your bodily independence as you soared through storms, high winds battering and pressing upon your life. Now those same weathered wings bear evidence of missing feathers, thinning bones, and shrunken wingspan. No longer able to lift and soar or glide with the gusto that carried you through turbulent tempest. Slowly, slowly you learn to accept those clipped wings, to be content with nesting in the arms of elderhood. You submit to this final appendage of your journey bid farewell to cherished autonomy, and slowly fold your worn wings in peaceful surrender.